Guys, this game is for Unlimited. We're going to go over this one now. We're going to be following the Janna here. They're running Zack support. They have um, Echo Jungle, Zyra Mid. Unlimited, are you here, man? I want to make sure you're here. Relkin, what's up, dude? Okay, we'll go. Either way, I'm putting it on YouTube. It's gonna be. It's all gonna be saved on YouTube. It won't be muted. It'll be recorded for him. Alright, so you guys have your vision up here, you're watching the bottom brush, that is the right way to do it. Uh, they're setting this side, so what you can do early on is you can like fake a leash, so just show up a couple seconds late to the lane. To kind of just throw them off and let them think that your jungler is starting this side. Alright, so you're doing the right thing, just kind of zoning him off. Zack can't really trade on you. What did he level? He leveled E. I guess he could jump on you if you walk up, but he's not even looking to do that. Was he running? Okay, so he's running Courage of the Colossus. So being a dive champion, uh, getting Q level 2 here is going to be priority. You need to be able to stop him from jumping. So doing this right here, you're using your ability to counter his jump. You're using it to engage, and it, it, it was it was a fail engage. There's not going to be a lot of follow-up from Caitlyn, other than maybe an auto, maybe a Q. But she can land the Qs in the autos without you going for tornadoes. So basically, save your tornado for... Uh, You're going to be saving your tornadoes for disengaging the Zack. You want to interrupt his jump. Okay, so that, that was a good cue. However, I mean, you hit it. And Zack, like, if Zack jumped, he probably would have died, honestly. You guys have a good amount of health on him. You don't have a river ward. You don't know where the jungler is. I don't think you've seen him yet. Definitely need to get vision out. Anytime you guys are pushing up. I try to do it before. Like, if the wave's here, and it's a bigger wave than theirs, I will go ward before walking past river. One main problem with using your tornado like this is that your tornado is 90 mana, literally 90 mana, so your mana pool is, you're going to be really, really low on mana.
She doesn't have heal! Okay, so Caitlyn should have got, like, Caitlyn could have gotten that kill a lot sooner. And probably not had to flash. Jinx was in a bad position for a long time, literally one kill from death. Alright, doing this is fine. What is your gold? Sitting on 800 gold. Okay, so one thing I like to do, if I still have potions, um, I like to go for Forbidden Idol early on Janna. I think the increased healing and shielding, plus 10% CDR, plus mana regen, is a really, really strong item for Ling. So if you go back, you buy a pink, and you save your trinkets for Warding River. Like, you get a pink, you get it in try, use your trinkets for here. You can snowball your lane pretty hard, having that, uh, that higher amount of CDR, plus the increased shield size. It's gonna be really good overall. Oh my goodness, that hurts. Okay, Sightstone is also a fine buy. Getting vision control out is the safest way to lane. Being fully warded knowing you're not getting ganked is definitely the safest method for laning. Go. He's got. He's got a Bammy Cinder. So basically, any okay, sitting in this lane, it's kind of an annoying lane. You need to always be on your guard. Be like, save your tornado 100%, but always be ready for Zach to be jumping in. Like you need that mental preparedness that he's gonna be jumping in from somewhere if you don't see him anywhere on the map. So where I position, I position next to my ADC. I'll position waiting to just straight up tornado until I do see him. So just stand behind them, be prepped to just spam Q and interrupt the direction that he's coming from. You'll see the circle, so you should be watching the ground looking for circle, looking for his animation coming. You can get the ward. Yeah, I'd, I'd go clear that, otherwise you guys don't have any vision down there. Although Echo's coming back. So you should have cleared it while you were there. He's really trying to bait this ward. Hit the ward, hit the ward. Run like the wind. You see the circle? Yeah, just run. Okay, so you got the ward, that's good. Getting it the first time would have been better because you almost got baited into a really bad spot. You've got your jungler here. You could probably set up a dive. If you ping your okay, having your jungler here, you should ping him down. Zach is six though. That could be really sloppy. You're also six though. You guys could just kill Jinx and walk away. What's well, not? Yeah, so right here, that's this is the situation I'm talking about. You need to ult her away quickly. Alright, rip. If you position a little more up, it would have knocked her up here. And... Okay, you can turn on her now. TP coming in, should be looking at the map. Trying to get an ability off. And 
Nice. Let's help focus on the Zag. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. He's got passive. You guys could dive and kill him. He's only got, what is that, 200 health? Nice. Get out, Nautilus. Why are you going back in? It's okay. He's tanky's balls. Okay, so really, to counter the odd matchup that is Zach, you've got to be standing next to your ADC at all times. So stand next to Caitlyn. Be ready to interrupt his Q. If you interrupt his Q, he's not going to get the damage. He's going to be in a bad position. And the only way that he can, like, force your AD carry into the enemy is by flashing behind them. And then, uh... Caitlyn didn't even heal in that fight. So Caitlyn, did she have it? If she did, she died for free. She had heal, she had flash, she didn't dodge anything. If she was blaming you for that, that's also on her. Like, you could have played it a little better, but she didn't play it right at all. Yeah, so disengaging the Zac, that it should be your one key in this matchup. Don't let him land that, uh, that elastic slingshot. Alright, you guys force out his ulti, that's pretty good for you. Um, all he has to engage now is E. He doesn't have R to try to force a fight. Okay, so let's go back to this one really quick. We're gonna get the uh, the time controls back up. So Zach comes in, you've got the shield on her, you guys are already full health. They don't have a lot of damage coming out right away from either of them. Like, even if you get hit in the chompers, you've still got exhaust. So if she tries to trade on that, you can literally just W her. And, like, if she walks in, you can W her, you can exhaust her, and then you can go ham. Uh, you were holding Tornado, so if she walked up, you get the W down, you can get the Tornado off. It's going to force her to use Summoners to try to disengage. Because you could have just walked around her traps, and... Yeah, try to be a little more careful using your ulti. Uh, Zach doesn't have ult, so he doesn't have a way to reposition your ADC. He's going to jump, he's going to try to knock her, knock her up, but he can't get behind her and then knock her into Jinx, which is the only way that they're going to win these fights. So basically, just... Use the shield to deny his damage, try to practice working on the Q interrupts for his jump, because he keeps doing it, he's literally doing it on repeat, and Caitlyn shouldn't have positioned that far up there, but she wanted a ward, which she's got a pink ward to try to do his cheese jumps all day. Chris Angus, what's up, man? It's got a bad trap. I guess I guess he's saving it for the uh, for the jump. You can play into it a little bit.
I'm gonna go back a little bit because we should have rotated on this earlier. Okay, as soon as you see them rotate out of lane, they're running past the ward. You need to rotate up. Uh, you should be leaving lane already. You should be here. You should be here. You should be here. And you could be up here shielding him, exhausting her. Um, he's in kind of a bad spot. He's got her. Okay, Lux rotated on it. Oh my. So close. That was a nice escape by Zack. Okay, you guys need to be careful. She's actually going to die. Oh, you almost saved her. Okay, let's go back one more time, because... Did you flash that? Okay, so you want to get a shield on her. Okay, okay, right there. You flash right into the circle of Zyra ulti. If you flash right to the edge of it to shield her, you could have ulted and she would have lived. Um, if your ulti didn't get interrupted, you would have had enough healing to keep her alive. So, I'm not necessarily going to pin it on you. You could have played it better. Caitlyn shouldn't have got caught there to begin with. Uh, she was greedy in positioning, standing next to a wall that's unwarded. So that was, that was her fault, but you could have saved her in that situation. And being able to save 80 carries in shitty situations like that is how you climb as support. You need to be able to keep them alive regardless of them being boosted or not. In 16 minutes, you guys... Okay, you need to get top turret. So you can ping top turret. You guys can all go top. Well, you and Caitlyn. Caitlyn shouldn't be going bot anymore. Um, yeah, so... Okay, if she goes bottom, you can just go up here with Nautilus and you can get it. He's way ahead in this matchup. This should be uh, free tower. Honestly, you could probably get it right now. If he wants to go for turret. Okay, you got the turret, you got all this done, that's fine. I would not play down here at all. Holy... Oh no! Oh no! What was that? Oh, okay, Mikhail's new Mikhail's passive. You get forty percent move speed. Guys, Zach is a—he does a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage to this kid. His E plus W is pretty strong. Freeze. Good morning. What's up, dude? Okay, so you've got all the outer turrets. You guys need to start controlling uh, inner jungle somewhere. It's 18 minutes, so you don't necessarily need to play on Baron's side. You do have Dragon coming up, so Dragon coming up. This is the objective you want to play around currently. I would be getting Vision, like trying to get Vision here. If you can see him on the map, like you can see Echo right now. Uh, you're going to see Zach here in a second. I would go through, and I would ward here. You want to be able to see this direction, this direction. I would ward here. You want to see, be able to see people coming through here. You want to see all their entrances leading to the objective if you can get the wards in the right spots. Knowing who you see on the map at the time that can catch you. So the people that are going to kill you on their team are pretty much Echo, Zyra, and Zach can jump on you. Like he can kill you, but it's going to take him a long time. So basically you're worried about Echo, you're worried about Zyra, and that's mostly it unless you run into both Zach and Jinx. So, if you see them on the map, if you see Zyra, you see Echo, you can walk in here and ward, pretty much. Remember as well, like, as you're going in, you're going to want control. Do you have Sweeper? You do. You're not level... You are level 9. So, you should be upgrading this on this back right here. Being level 9, this... Okay, you got Oracle's good. Uh, getting the objective, your team's going to be able to get it without knowing it's controlled, which is nice. They don't have sight stone, so they're not going to have a ton of wards out. So now it's going to be 1930. Uh, Baron's up in 30 seconds. I would transition over to this side, and I would start playing around Baron. Okay. 
Okay, you're helping her get red, but your team's up here fighting. And if you were here as Janna, your team would actually be able to get kills. Like, the shields and utility that you provide as Janna is really, really good. So just being here, not forcing them to use their own health to do trades. Nice. Alright, you're doing fine ulting there. Nice, nice. Caitlyn should be on him. Caitlyn could have slowed him. You guys could have landed something on him. Udir is going a little ham here. It's free. You can get out. Okay. So, you don't have ulti. You don't have much health. Do you have... No. You don't have redemption yet. Jinx is down here alone. This is another free kill. Once you get this kill, you guys need to reset. Because there's nothing else to really do on this side of the map. So, go for the kill if you can get her. She's in the bush. Lux should be able to stop her. You guys need assistance, Caitlyn. Okay. Somehow, somehow the 40 damage Janna auto ticket. So basically reset, go get vision control on Baron, get your control ward, put it like right here so you get, uh, it's, it can see the back of the pit. If you put it in front, it does not reach anymore. It is a smaller radius than it used to be. So wards will be able to sit back here if you don't ward uh, a little further back nowadays, which is going to allow them to clear over the wall if they have any ranged champions. But that's kind of kind of the way it is now. That way blue side doesn't get like free control just for being fucking blue side. Um, the other thing, you're going to need to get vision out. I like to have a ward here if I can get one. That way you see them coming down mid lane or if they're playing on the back side of this wall. I like to have another one in this bush so you can see them rotating from this way and this way. And like depending on where they're coming from, like if they're playing over on here on this side, down mid... I like to have a, a ward in here, so you've got a ward here to know where they're playing if they're coming from here. Like in the middle is probably the best, so you see all rotational paths. And one right here, and then one right here. That way you've just got full vision coming from that direction. Um, if they're pushed further back, one thing you can do is I like to get a ward here, get a ward here, get a ward like here. That way you see, like if you know they're back here or something, and you can get those deeper wards. That gives you a lot more knowledge of how long they're going to take to rotate onto the objective that you're trying to take. So basically, all you're doing is you're playing around. You're playing around their positioning, how far back they're forced to position. Rip. Caitlyn should be able to get this kill. Nope, Caitlyn gets scared. Also, Caitlyn has heal. I'm pretty sure she could have saved Nautilus there. Okay, just wait for minions. Headshot from your trap. Your deer's gonna die right there. It's kind of a bad fight. You guys really just need to focus the turret. Caitlyn's dead. Like, no minions. You guys shouldn't be diving for one. Oh no, he hit the wrong target. Pretty sloppy fight. So anytime your team dives, just try to try to be on the same page as your team and be like, hey guys, we can take objectives really easily if we just play smart and don't dive. We can zone them off with Kate Traps and we can look for picks with Lux and Nautilus. So just try not to say anything offensive, but try to tell them that sieging is really, really easy with your team comp. Remember, this is the internet. People get offended if you compliment them. So be very, very careful.
Okay, so visit control and objective. Could easily, you guys could easily take Baron here. I know it's a lot relying on a jungler to land a smite. But, uh, it could happen. Could happen to you. So control ward, ward, ward. And if you know they're pushed back, like you see, you don't see. I'd go for a deeper ward. So if you sweep, coming up here, there's nothing here. You get your control ward in. If you sweep here, ice sweep coming up, making sure there's no ward here. A lot of people ward here. Sweep coming up, rock here, walk over here. If there's nothing in here, nothing in here, I'll go ward here. And your sweeper should expire by the time you get here. So you'll see whether or not there's a ward here. If there's nothing here, nobody here, you can walk up and you can try to ward this bush. That way you get the backside vision. You've got the vision down here. I'd like to credit your stream for helping me finally get out of Silver since Season 3. Finners, congrats, man. What elo is this replay from? I am not sure. I would have to look it up. Nautilus just whipping out that ham boner and he's going in. Not sure how that fight worked out for you guys. I guess you're up a lot of kills and he's pretty big. But overall, I call that a bad engage. You don't need to fight that. Nice. Okay, three dead. It is free inhib for you guys. Just make sure you get the inhib. Nobody's diving. Just ping the turret so people stay on it. Ping the inhib so people stay on it. Even in even in my games, people are doing stupid stupid fights and avoiding objectives. Okay, so rotate bottom. Get this. You've got um, 21 and six seconds before they've got the advantage in the fight. Caitlyn got pretty fucking lucky there. Instead of using her escape, she could have just walked away. For some reason, he's going for the Janna. Okay, you guys, you don't have that inhib yet. They're really low. You can stay and actually fight this. Uh, she should not be alone. Try to peel for her. Well... Yeah, you guys need to peel back now. Your team, you guys are like in really fucking bad spots. The carries anyway. Okay, so cutting these guys off is probably the best option. Good, good, good. Ship trap. Should have thrown a trap in front of him. Would have helped a little. Jinx is down here. Nautilus should put his anchor inside her. She will die. Lux is actually getting out. Really? Okay. Next cube. Good enough. Close enough. You did it, Nautilus. You get a gold star. Um, okay, so right now you're sitting on a decent amount of gold. Not really. Yes, yes. Actually, you're sitting on a ton of fucking gold. Go back. You've got double inhibs. They're going to be sitting here fighting super minions trying to save their base. Go for the objective. Go for the objective. Baron is free at this point. Literally free as long as it's swept, as long as you have good vision. Like now is the time that you know you can get the deep wards on this side for free without uh, without dying. Because they're all going to be on their base trying to defend minions. From the looks of you guys. Mm, you don't push it out yet. It's not over yet. But yeah, Baron is like the greatest tool in the game for closing out games. Minions are so hard to kill that it's really easy to take objectives. Um. It's really easy to take objectives once you have the minions that strong. Yeah, so now basically you guys are just overstaying. You could rotate and push this out and get the turret. Uh, you've got you've got ulti. Do you have a jungler? You guys could three man Baron easily. So, well, four man. Let's catch. Let's kill. 
channeling. Yeah, just being the objective, like trying to force it versus Zyra, York, they're just gonna wave clear. I mean, you, you can end doing this, you definitely can, but you've gotta keep making catches. Nautilus is still dead. Yeah, that is really, really bad right there. Nice tornado, nice kill. But see what I mean about staying here? Like, they're just gonna keep engaging on you. Um, and they're just gonna keep spawning. Like, how much gold are you guys sitting on? Caitlyn has 4,500 fucking gold. She's meleeing Jinx. Meleeing Echo. Sitting on 5,000 gold. Yeah, this is massive overstay. Massive overstay. Recall, do Baron, push top, end game. Baron, top, game. Baron, top, game. That's it. Literally it. They've got so many minions coming. There's even a huge wave here they've got to defend. So recall, get Baron, go top, end game. Um, you went for this. Frost Queen's claim's okay. It's a little extra peel. It's kind of nice. Also, it's good for scouting if you need it. You've got the redemption here. I would also, I would go for Locket as well. Locket's a really good item. Although Ardent Sensor, it's not bad, but it's only going to benefit, well, Caitlyn, New Deer. It's not bad on Nautilus either. So it's it's really not bad for your team getting the bonus attack speed and life seal. It's going to be pretty strong. The one thing like I like about Locket is they've got a burst champion in Zyra. What is Echo building? Echo's build is kind of awkward. They went for a huge armor build. Jinx is going to die. Do not like this. Okay, got him. Yes, there's nothing wrong with Arden Sensor. I think Arden Sensor is goodbye. Uh, Zyra or Lux should have thrown her E forever ago. Uh oh, she didn't run down into the ulti. You get a position a little further up so the ulti hit her. Let me see where you were when you tried to start it. Okay, all the slow plants are gone. Okay, you're staying out of the radius this time. Oh, that fucked you up a little bit. So that may have been what happened. You may have just been knocked back when you were trying to R already to deny what was happening. And the R just went off like right here instead. You didn't have flash to reposition to ulti closer to get the heal off. So, I, I don't know. That's, it's a hard situation to be in. Ob honestly, obvious, well obviously, being further up. And ulting honor was most optimal, but I don't, I don't know if that was just like sketchy or not because you got knocked back from his ulti. Okay, so you've got triple inhib. Ooh, deer's gun. Do they just FF? Okay, main thing, the main thing that you need to take away from this game. Do not use your tornado ever. Never use your tornado unless you are countering their engage. You have to deny that Zack engage, otherwise your carry is going to get screwed. Other than that, you did really well with the game, so just, just get that Q off, man. Deny his E, and then your carries can go fucking ham without worrying about Zack getting behind them and knocking them into the, the enemy team's carries. Other than that, well played. You're